Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Yasmin Mun. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, baby, welcome. Go ahead and subscribe. Join the squad. And so we can all be best friends. And let's get on into the video. struggle for me to even do this video it really has because i am in my third trimester of nine months and it's like towards the end of the pregnancy you be feeling like a little turtle and just the sickness and everything together so i can literally have the baby any day so i was like let me go ahead and do this so um so i'm gonna start off with the bag um this is a bag that i purchased from ross it's a bag that i already had i was going to order a bag but i was like why do that when i got a bag that i rarely use so i'm just using something that i already have these are my um gowns that i am wearing i know the hospital provides you with the gown but um I always recommend to take two extra gowns too because sometimes you don't want to wear that gown all the time. So these two gowns, I got one from Ross. Ross is my favorite store if you don't know. <laughs> um, something just very comfy. Okay. That's one. And then this is another gown here that I got from walmart hey i, I want to still be like kind of cute you know <laughs> a little bit in the house. these house shoes from ross um they're very comfy you will want to have house shoes so make sure you take house shoes with you because those hospital floors are cold and not even that but i mean it's a lot of germs in the hospital so you want to have something on your feet. Hospital do provide you with socks. You could still do the socks. You could do the socks and these. Um, but I recommend you to get some flip flop with some some high shoes. <laughs> so this is my going home outfit. I just got um, a shirt and some shorts. Nothing too fancy. I mean, we going home, you know, just something comfortable. You will not want to wear nothing tight because you got to think about you may even have a pad on and those pads are huge after you have your baby. Those pads are going to be huge. Or you may have like the the little di the adult diaper on. So you want something loose um, and just where you can move around and stuff like that. So I bought this bag from Ross too. Um... It's like a makeup bag, but like a little travel bag too. I love bags like this. I always invest into bags like this because they're very convenient. Okay, so, and this one right here, um, I bought some of this, um, this spray, this Dove spray here. If you notice, zoom in for the world zoom in for the world <laughs> it's not really zooming in it's just... you want to have some type of spray with you so when you get out the shower um spray yourself real good because you real sweat hormones going crazy you know so take some spray another travel size of mouth wash um this mouth wash is pretty good um i i've seen it on tiktok so i had to try it I see a lot of women overpacking and getting all this big stuff. You don't need all that stuff. The hospital do provide you with a lot of stuff. But if you decide to take stuff like this, just get the travel size. Stop taking the full size <laughs> to the hospital. It would be like when I get in the shower and I don't want my hair to get wet and I want something to kind of lift my hair up. Um, taking this, use ivory soap 
and I have this little case here where, you know, my soap will just be on on different stuff. It can just be in its own container here. Um, I'm still trying to figure out, uh, do the hospital provide towels and rags? Um, I just took a rag just in case. Um, I hadn't had a baby in eight years, so I don't know. I know when I used to work in the hospital, though, we would, um, they would have towels and rags, and they actually recycle the towels and rags. So I think it's okay. I mean, people would, people use towels at hotels all the time. So I think it's okay, but I'm just gonna take this one and kind of go from there. But travel size, um, travel kit, toothbrush. Um, it also has the toothpaste that comes inside the cover for the toothpaste and you got floss. So it's in like this little compact. So it really, I mean, this is great for great for what I got going on. Body wash, another travel size bottle, Olay. Um, so after I use my Irish soap, I always go back in with a body wash. Like I said, if you had those babies, your hormones, and stuff be going left and right side to side so you want to have some extra stuff to just make you feel good and smell good because you know you may have guests want to come busy at the hospital and you want to smell really want to take the full bottle of product always try to downsize if you can okay because you're not going to be in the hospital that long probably two days at the most so um put my coconut oil in here I am a huge advocate for coconut oil because you can use it for so many things. And like when I've looked at other um, blogs, you may see women say, hey, I, I gotta take a nipple cream. I gotta take um, some from my lips. I gotta take some from my skin. I gotta take something to make my milk increase. Well, guess what? This thing here, you can use for all of that okay so that's a little nugget <laughs> that you can take with you you can use this to oil your body for your face for your lips so when my lips get dry i can use some coconut oil um and again i can even use coconut oil for milk supply even apply coconut oil on my nipples as well so i don't need to take all that stuff Y'all been packing too much in these hospital bags. <laughs> Y'all really have. And I told myself, I am not about to do that. I'm not, I'm not going to be carrying all that stuff. I'm sorry, but I'm not. I'm going to this hospital for a mission to go have this baby and we going home. <laughs> it's baby bag. And I bet you like, huh? Baby bag. So I do have a baby bag for my little boy. But again, like I said, I do not want to overpack. Um, I mean, when we leave the hospital, we come, we coming home. We ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Decided to put his items in one of these little makeup cases that I have that was in this container here. Um, so I got him, I packed a birthing cloth for him. Um, hospital give you plenty of birthing cloths to bring, take home. But I decided just to at least bring one birthing cloth with me. I have this passage that I sterilized. Um, hospital do provide passes too, but sometimes um, newborns, sometimes it's hard for them to suck on different passes. So I just brought one in case he didn't latch on to the passage they give him. So for his going home outfit, I brought three different outfits okay it's like a little onesie here um it got the little doggies on it um and this is a size zero zero to three months so if he was like if he was bigger than the newborn size then i had this so um i brought this here this newborn um even though it's hot baby still you know be cold and stuff like that so i brought this just in case 
this is another newborn suit and these are not these are very thin so if he was to wear it, i feel like he'll be good like he won't be hot um so these booties will go with um the shirt the onesie that will go with this shirt who hat um so it could go with either one of these outfits so um yeah i brought the hat he will need a hat another pair of socks in case he does not wear the, the um these booties then they can just wear these socks hospital will provide like pampers and wipes because you want to bring all that like you you want to have room to have to bring stuff home because them nurses they will especially if you have a cool nurse they will hook you up so i don't want to have so much stuff you know um like they gonna they will prov they gonna provide stuff for the baby skin all that to put on and all that stuff so like only thing you need to bring is just clothes something for him to come home maybe a bill or something like that and be done all his clothes is going in this on this thing so everything is gonna be in my bag i don't have to have all that <laughs> all that stuff I remember my mom packed my bag at the time but i remember her putting like two two pajama outfits my toothbrush and maybe some bras and that was it i don't remember anything <laughs> and like the order and stuff of course but like that was it i don't remember all that stuff bag with me and because like i said the hospital is going to hook you up okay so i'm taking this bag this is actually like my son's sports bag but i'm going to put everything in here in this bag um so let me show y'all how big it is it's real big so i put everything whatever extra items they give us far as like you know postpartum stuff diapers whatever extra pads whatever is going into this bag i have two sports bras that i'm bringing with me i see people doing like the breastfeeding bras but they the same thing um like i said when i had my kids that's what i had sports bras so we go, that's what we're gonna stick to <laughs> just wear what they provide for me what my insurance is paying for i am not going out there and buying like i have peppers for the house but like well i have I would have adult diapers for the house, but just in the hospital, no, I'm not doing it. Um, so I will request adult diapers for myself and request some some nipple pads um, if I need it. But milk does not come in until probably like the third day anyway, so you may not need all that. Um, but just just letting y'all know to get hungry. Um, in the middle of the night and i don't want to go to no better machine um cafeteria may be closed whatever like that so i got me a snack bag i have my birth plan in here so make sure y'all get y'all a birth plan um so because these birth plans have really saved a lot of people's lives and make sure you take your id and your insurance card and taking my my pregnancy pillow my maternity pillow this pillow is comfortable if you ain't got one go get you one okay hospital pillows are not that comfy but this right here i feel like that will help me when i'm in labor when i'm you know in the process of having my baby um i can have support and um even you know after i had a baby you know i still can use this pillow and also too um, people take the body pillows to the hospital too, but let me show you, okay? You can do a two for one, okay? You can actually take this and wrap it around you and have the baby, you know, sitting here when you get ready to feed the bottle, feed the baby the bottle or breastfeed. So I'm taking it for, for both purposes, to for breastfeeding and for the comfort of myself. Oh. <laughs> so y'all that's my hospital bag um and i'm excited we all excited um and your girl is cracking down like 
And time went like that. Like that, like that, like that. If we have to run on up out of here, we'll be prepared. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, um, thank y'all so much for watching this video. Um, go ahead and like, subscribe. If you have not joined the squad, make sure you go ahead and join the squad. Share with a friend so we can all be best friends. Leave me some comments down below. Let me know how many weeks are you. If you have any advice. If you want to say something kind to me, go ahead and drop down below. And I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>